Welcome and good morning, everyone, again. I'm pleased to have with me here Shannon, who is the owner of SMV Consulting, a SmartSuite partner who's been helping many clients get onboarded with SmartSuite and many other productivity tools. Today, Shannon is going to show us how to run service-based businesses with the whole scheduling and many other components that such types of businesses need. I think it's applicable to many different businesses and we're excited to see what Shannon has built out for us. And like I said, please join in with your comments and questions. I'm going to let Shannon introduce herself and her company and dive right in. Great. Thanks for having me, Avi. All right. I'm going to share a couple slides here and... Just introduce myself. As Avi mentioned, I'm Shannon Vincent. I own SMV Virtual Consulting. We've been a no-code solution provider and consultant for the last five years. Some information about us is, like I said, we've been doing this for five years. We specifically got our start on Upwork. So I started my business, wanted to get some clientele and got to start on just doing jobs on Upwork. We're now ranked within the top 3% of all agencies on Upwork. And we are also certified with six different software companies and have partnerships with those. I specifically focus on SmartSuite, Airtable, and ClickUp. And then I have other consultants on my team that provide additional services in the work management, project management realm. And to date, we've served hundreds of clients. We do a lot of custom projects. These are our areas of focus. We've worked a lot with construction and renovation, accounting, finance, digital marketing, pro property management, HR and recruiting, a lot of service providers, which is the reason I picked this topic today, and then coaches and consultants. And our agenda for today is I was going to discuss the limitations that you have with out-of-the-box solutions. There's a lot of software on the market, but some of it is limited. So I was going to go over that, talk about this template I set up for how a smart suite could be used for service providers, then talk about how it could be integrated with other softwares and then jump into the Q&A. So with that, I'll get started unless you have any other comments, Avi? No, that's perfect. Let's get right in. I okay, great. Great. Okay, so here I'm inside of SmartSuite. What I've done here is I've created a solution for a salon. I have multiple hairdressers in my family, so it seemed a natural subject to start with this as a template. When you're looking at this template, this could be easily transferred into multiple other types of professions, estheticians, nail salons, even an Airbnb or a bread and bed and breakfast, it could, there could be multiple uses. So these could easily be modified. But here, the first, I'm going to go through the apps that I thought could be really beneficial in this service-based appointment-based industry. We have the appointment schedule. So here, We'll walk through multiple views here, but we have a schedule for each of the individual appointments. Then we have stylists. So each appointment is designated to a specific stylist. So we have a series of stylists and their information located in the table. We have the general client information, so their contact information, who they prefer to work with, some of the products that may be their favorite products that they've purchased through us, an onboarding document. So we'll talk in some depth about forms and how forms could be used to streamline your process with your clients and getting information prior to your set appointment. And then services. So all of these, inf all of this information is tied back to an appointment, but we have specific services with a cost for that service that could be tied back to the appointment. And then notes, which we'll go into more detail. You could have custom notes for the appointment and roll up some of the details of your notes. This 
in particular was something that I found that was lacking in some of these, these out of the box solutions was having a good way to track notes and track details on specific appointments. Then we have products. A lot of cases, a lot of times in this case, you're purchasing a product or more than one product when you are going in for an appointment. So you could type back products, have inventory of those products, charts to see which products are selling the most and things like that. You could have a schedule for holidays for your team members. So at a quick glance, they can see in here, and we don't have any holidays off here, but then you, you could note any holidays for the salon. And then appointment slots. When we're talking about, this is a really great way, this solution is a really great way to manage everything all in one. I do think that there are like booking systems like Calendly and Acuity that are, do really well with the actual booking. But beyond that point, you don't have any way to really um, manage the details of the client, the report, you don't have reporting within those systems. So integrations between a booking system like that into this software would be a great fit. And so you could just easily have a place to log the links for the booking system to easily access in case you're on a call with a customer that wants to book. And then, and then scheduling form. I'll go into more detail here. It's blank here because it's connected to a really great app called Fill Out Form that will take the information and integrate it here. And we can talk about that near the end. Let me just, are you seeing any questions so far? Nope, we're good. I think people are loving the layout of how this is looking. Andrea said that she likes the, the stylist profile look. I think you did a great, great. job with all the data. Great, great. So in each of these apps, I would say the hub of where you would be working most of the time is going to be in the appointment. Each of these pieces is connected to the appointment and in these individual records is an appointment. So we have Roger Smiles here who has an appointment on the 15th from 2.45 to 7.45. So quite a long appointment. Each of these pieces is connected to a duration of time. So you can roll up and see the average, if create a report and see the average duration of time that your clients are spending within your, within your salon. You can see here the connection to a Roger's profile. So if you click on here, you can see all the information related specifically to Roger, get an idea of what preferred services he typically uses, what products are his favorites, what hairdresser he is working with or stylist he's working with. And then you have some financial information. So if you wanted to start calculating, okay, how much are we paying out to this hairdresser for the services provided? How much is the salon profiting from that? Then you can then create a dashboard of that. You can also put detailed notes in here. So one of my favorite features about Smart Suite is just the, the notes and the smart docs. So you can have detailed notes. You can use slash commands to insert tables, videos, things like that. So you can have really detailed notes in here. Typically in some of the out-of-box solutions, it's just a small note section. There's not really much you can do with it. And the value of this is each appointment could be an individual record that could then be analyzed for the future. And then you have connections to all these different prior notes if you want to go into more detail and connections to the services so you can report on that information. Let's see. Next, so without saving. Here we have the stylists and someone mentioned they like the stylist profile. So in here, you could easily have in, in typical systems, you don't have a lot of detail that you can focus on. Personally, I like the ability to customize the profile of each of these different apps. 
and be able to pull up the information that is most important to the top. So you're able to quickly get a glance of what's a priority for you and your team at the top, dragging this information up and reorganizing it, creating sections. You're not often able to do that with other systems where you're able to visually represent the data the way that your team needs to see it. In here, we can customize all of these, have a booking link that then links back to where you can book for that, that stylist. And then the stylist could, the admin could easily direct people right back to that booking link. Looks like it's running a little bit slow, but it could take you back to a Calendly or an Acuity or any type of those booking softwares. In here, so each of these records has the specific information related to the connection to the appointment. And I won't go into all the details as we've already walked through some of this. I kept it pretty simple. But one of the benefits that I think could be really great for managing appointments in here is, is automating the process of confirmation of appointments. A lot of times there is a receptionist on the phone making those phone calls. You're often maybe not getting confirmation of appointments and you're having missed appointments, which could financially hurt the company. And so in here, what you can do is integrate these records with fill out form and have someone you can either buy automation through email or through text, send a form to an individual person that has an appointment and have them respond back via form and update your record here. So I wanted to walk through how that automation could be valuable for creating less redundant tasks for your admin to manage and just automating that process. One of my favorite apps to connect to SmartSuite is fill out form. If you're not familiar with fill out form, it is a form software very similar to job form and some of the other popular form software on the market. But one of the real values of fill out form is the ability to update records. So in SmartSuite has some pretty great forms with conditional logic and a lot you could do with those forms. But at this time, they don't have the ability to go back and update a record that's already existing. And so fill out form comes in where you can customize a form. They also have a lot of customization in regards to the way the form appears and pulling in values from a record that's located inside of SmartSuite. So here we have a form that we've designed, which is going to confirm an appointment. We've drafted it so it's going to pull in from the record in Smart Suite the first name of the client. It's going to pull in some verbiage saying you have an appointment with a certain a stylist who's linked to your appointment, confirming what date that appointment is on. And then asking them if they would like to reschedule, cancel, or confirm their appointment. And so it gives them really easy options here to get that done. What you can do with this form is you can say when this form comes in and this value of confirm my appointment is marked, go ahead and mark the status of that appointment as confirmed. So I thought I'd walk through how simple that could be here in SmartSuite. So in Smart Suite, let me go ahead and find, I may have it hidden. We have quite a few fields here. Let me go ahead and I'm going to just create a view for this. I'm going to hide all the fields. And I'm going to bring in that. appointment confirmation. I'll also bring in the client information and the stylist so we could just get an idea of who this client is. You'll see here that these options in this dropdown are connected to this fill out form. So these options are the options presented here. So when this form is set up and sent, once they select this option, it's going to go ahead and update the value in this, this column. What I can do here is say, okay, I have my fill out form connected and in my automations, I can add a new automation 
And I can say, when a record matches a condition and appointment confirmation status is equal to confirm my appointment, I'm gonna go ahead and update that record. for the primary status and pick confirms. And so now every time somebody responds back to that form, they will get a confirmation that it has been, the appointment has been confirmed. And then your receptionist or whoever on your team is making these calls can easily narrow it down to the people who maybe haven't responded to the confirmation. Each of these records has a, now I'm trying to remember what that field was called, has a link to a fill out form. There we go. And if I open this up, Move my little bar here. You can see that I selected it for this first record. So let's go ahead and bring in the appointment dates. And you can see that it's pulling in the information that Janet from the record, this is the stylist from the record. I'll have to look at why it's not pulling in the date, but you can make sure, double check the date, make sure that variable is being pulled in. When I click on this, it should, maybe give it a refresh. Go and hide some of these fields. I'm going to show it appointment confirmation. And you can see it was marked as confirmed. So let's now pull in the status and I'll bring in those names again of the clients. Searching in the wrong place. The client. And then we're going to bring in the status. And you can see that record has been marked as confirmed. So that's a really great way to streamline things for your team and focus on the things that are important. Another option would be to every time your appointment, say 24 hours prior to the appointment, maybe you want to send a form to your client to see if they want to add some notes for a hairdresser specifically. Maybe they want to give some detail on what they're looking for, for that specific appointment. And then you can determine there from there, how to kind of prep for that specific appointment or review your old like prior notes from that client to see what you've done for them in the past. So give yourself some wiggle room for some preparation. You can also aut easily automate using fill out form. And some of these automations I just showed, showed to you saying, okay, go ahead and send this form out to them 24 hours prior to their appointment. And then that information will come back into SmartSuite. And when you're looking at the record and getting prepared for the services for the day, you're able to see what they, what information they provided to you. Uh, let's see, were there any questions so far? First of all, I must say that was absolutely awesome. I love the fill out form with the smart suite automation. Essentially, instead of doing it and go to appointments, doctor appointments, they're always calling to verify the appointment and the more sophisticated ones, maybe do it via text. But this is really awesome where you can automatically go in or even auto automatically the system would send out, would change the status as a certain amount of time before the scheduled appointment automatically a form gets sent out to the client and they can simply confirm, cancel, reschedule, and even add notes that it's absolutely awesome. And I love how you were able to customize the fill out form 
to not only create new records, but update records, which is really awesome. Because And the customization within the fill-out form was the best. But it pulls in the name, the dress, the hairstylist names. That was awesome. Yeah, it makes it feel less like a form and more like an email. And you're just quick clicking a quick button and getting the information you need over to your client. The other thing I will say is that SmartSuite has an integration with Twilio. So you could take this and instead of an email, or maybe you want to do both, you want to have when you can say like when the record matches a condition, like when I have a field inside of this template. And also to let you all know that this template is available for free. We should have a link posted so you can grab this template and modify it yourself. But in here, I have a field called appointment reminder. And so that's set to 24 hours before. So you can say when that appointment a reminder arrives, then go ahead and you can send an email or send out a text and do it both ways. So you can make sure that you're getting that link over to the client in multiple different avenues to make sure that they're confirming before their appointment. That's awesome. Absolutely love it. So Patrick is asking if booking through a Calendly or similar booking software, how do you prevent duplication of client information for repeat customers each time they book? Sure. That's, that is a great point. So when you're usually booking through some of this, these booking platforms, you need a unique identifier to identify your clients. I find the best one is email. No two people can have the same email address. It's easy and straightforward. So what you could say here in your automation is you can say, okay, when someone books on Calendly, the first step is going to be to go ahead and find a record in my client information. If a record is there, it's going to it's going to have that information available for you to link to the appointment. If it's not there, some of these automation tools will say, okay, if it's not found, go ahead and create the record. So it's doing two kind of branches of, if I can't find it, I'm going to create that record. And you could go as far as saying, if it's not found, create the record and then mark the status of that client as a new client. And then if they are found, it'll automatically, you can associate that client. That's awesome. We have another question. Scene, first of all, is asking, I think you covered this, but I'll just go over it quickly so everyone is aware. Scene says, love this. We own a hair salon. Can we? Can this solution be made available? as a template that we can use to build out our own salon management system in SmartSuite. And I think Nicole dropped in the link earlier um, yeah. where you can get a, get a hold of this template, but this will be available through Shannon's emailing list. And so definitely go ahead and sign up for the SMV email list so you can get this template and any other future templates. Mike is asking, Mike is saying, this is awesome. Can you go through how you set up the book now button in SmartSuite? Sure. So it's pretty straightforward. So there was some manual work on the back end of this, which is when you have a new, say you have a new stylist and they are going to have different maybe booking links. I thought of a wash and cut, maybe a 45 minute booking link, but a color is going to take two hours. So you're going to have different kind of types of events here. You can have the hyperlinks. So what I did is pasted in these hyperlinks over from Calendly. And all this button is doing is really representing this hyperlink in a cleaner, nicer format. So it's saying when you click on this button, perform an action, which is to open a URL. And the formula for the action is just linking you back to this field called booking link. Very cool. So basically you're putting specific links in a field type, and then you're just using the button field type to call that URL. Yep. So then That's you awesome. could present that you could hide this booking link because it's not as easily vis visually appealing as a button. Maybe you can hide this in some of your views and just show this quick link so people can easily access it. Nice. That's awesome. And would you mind going through real quick? You showed earlier the financials. So you were able to calculate. How are you doing that? Maybe you can click into the formula to show how that's set up and how that's calculated. Sure, I'd be happy to. Okay, let me clear out some of these fields. I think it was like total costs. Oh, 
wrong way, clear. And then hairdresser payment and then profit. So here, what we're doing is we're doing a, we have each of these appointments. Let me go ahead and select the service. We have each of these appointments linked to a service over in the service table. Each, each of these services has a dollar amount. So we're saying every time we're going to charge, we're doing a deep conditioning, we're going to charge $22. And each of these has a dollar amount aligned with it. What we have here is called a roll-up field. And the roll-up field is rolling up the dollar amount values from this service table for each of the services selected. From this dollar amount, we've created fields for the hairdresser payment. So this is saying, and this was just an example, but you could get much more complex with this. But this is saying, take that dollar amount and 75% of it is going to be for the hairdresser. And then my profit left is going to be 25%. And then you can visualize this information, use this information in other areas. So another thing I set up as a template was one of my favorite features of SmartSuite is these dashboards and being able to just see information on charts and graphs and seeing a quick overview. So then you can take that information from, from those columns and roll them up into these dashboards. You can show the profit for the last seven days. You can see the prior seven days and what that profit was. So you can make sure you're on a steady track. You can also add in like a count of the number of appointments. You can Add in how, see how much you're paying out to the hairdressers for the next seven days or expected for the next seven days. See the profit. So you can see the profit here. We have these a little mix up, but the profit here for the next seven days. So you can see you're on a steady track. Um, so using that information in these dashboards and the, I would say Smart Suite has the most widgets I think I've seen in any of this no-code software. There's tons of options to really design the financial reports the way that you want to see them. I could probably tinker with these all day, but you, there's a ton of options for you to create reports and just visualize the data and make sure that you're making the the kind of money you want to make and make sure you're not losing it. Also, you have like products. So what I've done here is like you can roll up and see what products are associated with what appointments and what products are really selling over the past seven days and what's selling now. What are the trends looking like for products that'll help you with inventory and just help you realign if you're selling a lot of like a deep conditioning, maybe you want to you add some more options for that and things like that. And then also see the services. So roll up the type of services that you offer and see what services are selling the best over a period of time. I use seven days, but they have a ton of features where you can do a specific range. So you say for the last year, you can say for 10 days, whatever the case may be, you're, you have a lot of flexibility. Wow, this is really awesome. It gives business owners the true visibility and management and oversight and just helps them streamline everything from scheduling to coordinating to making sure there's no cancellations or no shows last minute to calculating what each dresser or each employee gets and, and, exactly. and the profit is for the business. This is absolutely awesome. I really love how you used all the different features to, to bring together this complete solution. Thank um, you. Yeah. You could take this even further. You could duplicate it and have one for each of the stylists. So the stylist has access and kind of can see the trends for them specifically and what's going on for them. So there's a lot you can run with this. Yeah, this is like this. I just I'm enjoying this so much. This is like a real it's a true testament to what no code is all about, is you can take a system and spin up a complete business solution for a specific industry. In a matter of days, and, and I was researching 
<laughs> yeah, I was researching just software for salons just a few days ago to see where they gauge now. And a lot of what you do is they're reasonably priced, but everything is an add-on. So if you want to do marketing out of the system, it's an add-on per user. If you want to do special reports, it's an add-on per user. By the end of you know, what you could do in these no-code softwares with a few integrations, by the time that you're done with all those add-ons, you got a hefty user ticket that may be $80 a month. These no-code systems not only are more flexible, but more reasonable when it comes to price per user. Yeah, that's absolutely awesome. Okay, let's let's get on with our questions because we've got a bunch of them coming in. I uh, love that. Great. Okay, so Naomi is asking, this is so, she's saying, this is so cool. Thank you again for walking us through this. I love how in fill out the client and stylist name and appointment details are there. How do you do that though? Is that using a URL parameter? Yes. So what fill out does really well is it allows you to take the values from smart suite and bring them in a meaningful way. And so inside of this block, I don't remember. Let me just get back. Let me add another block here. When you start a block, that's right, it's the at symbol. So you do the at symbol and it in here, it can say from that updating of record, pull in a value from here. So it's saying whatever values are over in that record, let me pull in some of those values so you can easily insert. So I can say just like I did before, first name. And it's pulling in that value. So it's easy to using the at symbol to pull in a bunch of different options for, for parameters, variables. Yeah. Got it. So I guess in essence, you're basically, I guess you integrated fill out forms to smart suite. Yeah. And then once they're integrated, fill out can basically look up any field type that you set up on smart suite in real time, and you can make changes to smart suite. And, it, it, and then you just use them in a similar way to the way you use field types in smarts, where you just set up a block, you pull in field types that are coming from smarts. Is that correct? Yep, definitely. Very and it's cool. very intuitive. Some of these form softwares get really complex or a little bit overwhelming to get started with. I feel like fill out was very intuitive. It, some of my clients are setting it up themselves because they feel very comfortable. They have good support. They have great documentation. So yeah, it's a really easy, easy to get started with fill out. Wow. And walk me through. So it looked like you were able to generate a unique link, a unique fill out link for each specific client so that it's actually pulling in their details, their appointment, their name, their stylus. How are you generating a unique link sure. and putting that parameter back into Smart Suite? Sure. So I'll go ahead and show you. So here under integrations, what I've done is I've said, okay, I want you, it connects with multiple different software, but it does really well with Smart Suite. I want you to connect to Smart Suite. And here it's going to have you pick the solution you're connecting to and then picking the specific app that you're connecting to. You can either set it as create a record or set it as update a record. When you select update a record, it automatically provides you this custom code here. And it's really just pulling in the name of the form and some unique information, and then it's going to tag it to that record ID. So then you can go into your smart suite. This bar is always in my way. Okay. Into your smart suite app. And you simply add a field and you can add a field anywhere in here. You can call it URL or they call it link in here. And you can say, this is my fill out link. Oh, sorry. It's a formula. You're gonna add a formula field, not a link field. And then you're going to, 
you can click in the advanced editor and you're just simply pasting that in. And that's how it's going to know. That's how it's going to create that connection because it's going to connect it to the fill out form, but to that specific record ID. Record that's ID awesome. is super valuable in this software because it can really connect. It. it knows exactly where it's trying to update. That's awesome. And so that way you basically, each one of those links is a unique form with the client, with the unique client details pulling yeah. from the smart suite record into the fill out form. And then the response gets recorded right back into that record. So you take a client, they have their unique details in the smart suite record. It gets pulled into the unique fill out form and their response gets recorded back into their unique record. That's, that's exactly. really awesome. Yep. And then wow. this formula here really becomes valuable because now you can take this formula, throw it in an email through an automation, and then this gives them a unique place that pulls in their values to go ahead and respond back with that confirmation to update the record. Amazing. Okay. We have a next question from Deborah. Deborah is asking, do you need to be at a certain smart suite payment level in order to have access to all of these things. So do, I'm trying to think what potential limitations might, I guess if you want to restrict permissions, you'd have yes. to be on a higher plan level too. So it, I guess a use case for permissions would be you want to restrict your hairstylists from seeing the overall business finances or from seeing each other's finances. Because I guess you can, using linked records, you can really give each hairstylist their smart suite environment and they can't see appointments or clients from other hairstylists. So that's, I, I can't think of any other, and I guess the other reason would be potentially based on the number of automations and API calls, you yes. have to maybe go up on a certain plan type if you have a huge practice. And yeah, it depends. I would think record limits. So there's record limits with each plan, depending on the volume you're doing each of these records. So in this specific template, you're connecting more than five pieces of information. So for one appointment, that's five links. So that could stack up pretty fast. So if you have a large salon or a large, yeah, any large business, you may want to be on a paid plan. Got it. That's a good point. The record limitation. Okay, cool. I'm going to take the, there's a quick question here from Barry's asking smart suite planning to have the fill out form record update feature. I'm assuming you're asking if the, if we're planning on building this in natively to our smart suite forums that our smart suite forums can update records. And the answer is that we're not thinking right now of going in that direction because a fill out is an awesome provider as demonstrated, and we're not trying to duplicate functionality. We think of our forms as the baseline for forms within smart suite solutions. And then all these fancy add-ons like Shannon just demonstrated come through fill out, which is a phenomenal integration partner that we have. I believe there is a way to technically do this with a workaround within smart suite forms. If you don't want to venture out into fill out forms, and that would be using the smart suite automations, you can find records that find records as an action within smart suite automations that could potentially update records. But the, it, it would require some sort of workaround because really you'd have to set up a separate base with a form that feeds the records from that form into that base. And then they can go ahead and update records somewhere else in SmartSuite using the find record option. I don't and know it if you still have won't do things there. like pulling in the values. And it still doesn't necessarily wouldn't have the formatting that you have with fill out. Fill out does have a free plan. And I always say that there, there's no perfect software. I've never seen one. And so connecting these really powerful tools, add-ons really helps to make it feel holistic and provide that value of it looking and appearing maybe like the system, but in, in actuality, it's not. Nice. Okay. We have our next question here from Scene. Scene is asking, does SmartSuite have the ability to track hours? Our assistants and admin team members are paid on an hourly wage and clock in and out through our current salon system from which we then generate reports to run payroll. Would it be possible to do this through SmartSuite? Yes, the answer. So we do have some time tracking features here inside of Smart Suite.
So you could set it at an appointment level if you wanted them to track by appointment. They could either click this or if you wanted to track them by day, it'd be a bit more complex to set up, but you could do it. So you could get a timer started here. They could track or they can also manually track. That's really cool because then you can get the time allocation of each employee per appointment. You can start running reports. Average time it takes them for an appointment is someone rushing appointments is someone doing appointments too long is in just it's very granular. Or like you're saying, you can really set this up by day. And if you don't care about the granular details. Yeah. Amazing. Frederico is asking, which is the view where the where a head a hairdresser can see his daily appointments. Okay. And is there also a view for the entire salon for the owner to see their entire daily offer? Sure. So the, yeah, I set up some of these views because it was like a range of time. I found that the timeline view was the best for this. And so what I did here is I set up a timeline view and these views will be available in the template, but I set up a timeline view here. I have it grouping by the stylus. And so then on this timeline, you can see what appointments they have for the day. You can toggle between your different days. You And then I also did some samples where you could just narrow it down to a specific stylus. So you're able to just see what appointments they they have on any given day. You can also zoom in and out. So I have it by days. Maybe you want to see by week. And so there's a lot of functionality that you can have here by using this timeline view. Nice. Wow. This I'm like, I'm still at off from this complete solution. This is really awesome. You know, it was a lot of fun to build. I was, I had a team member, Elizabeth on my team who got really creative with this. So I'm glad you like it. That's absolutely awesome. Wow. Okay. Any final thoughts or closing, closing thoughts? I think we're reaching the end of the questions. Yeah. Questions I just wanted in. to really quickly showcase something that's good up and coming for smart suite. It is definitely in beta mode. It is not ready quite yet to be what I think it could be, but I wanted to give you an idea of what this could be. Easy Portal is something that is, we're beta testing right now. It's a portal software, which will allow you to connect your data from Smart Suite into a portal and basically display the data from Smart Suite. Now this, there's a lot of features that I'm assuming will be coming in the future where like you could bring in a chart and show all of your stylus. So you have the record of the stylus and their information in Smart Suite, but you can make this really your website and be able to show it. So here I'm on the back end of Easy Portal and it's pretty intuitive. It's really some building blocks that you're able to map out on multiple pages within the system. So we created several pages here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you it in the live version. Hopefully, there we go. Okay, so here I have the home page. It's pulling in an image. We have a description of services here. We can also do an a, about us page. Right now, this is not dynamic information, so it's not pulling in from Smart Suite quite yet. But in the future, I think what they're the direction they're going, you'll be able to take these stylus profiles, these stylus cards and present this actual data right within Smart Suite. So then you could just have these records showing. And in here, you can pick what information you're showing. You don't have to show everything from the profile. I also have here where you can book an appointment. So this is really just a hyperlink to fill out for people to book an appointment. You can display your services. So you could have a nice presentation of what services you offer and things like that. So you really could make the data from your smart suite match the data on your website or a portal. Also, you can get to the point where I know personally for me, I would love to be able to log into a, por a portal as a client for a hairdresser and see what they've done on my hair for the last 
six months and be able to refer back to an image. Maybe you have an image of your hairdresser takes images every time you have an appointment and say, Hey, I want to go back to this look or a nail salon. Hey, I want to, I really like these nails. Can you duplicate that? You could create a user login portal with this software. It's, I think it'll be a few months out, but I think that's definitely coming for SmartSuite. That is absolutely awesome. Yeah. We're really looking forward to Easy Portal. And I'll just drop in a quick mention. We also have another product called No Loco. You guys can look at that out. You can you guys can look that up. And we're actually meeting with them tomorrow. They're in the midst of integration. Their portal functionality is actually fully built out. And it's just a matter of integrating with SmartSuite. And so we're hoping to have a preview of that in the next two, three weeks. So that's exciting. Uh, yeah. Right. Wow. That is awesome. Okay. This has been absolutely phenomenal. I'm hoping we can start spreading the word and getting more service-based businesses using this template, whether you're a hairstylist or a nail salon or whatever it might be. And we are absolutely looking forward to hearing everyone's feedback. Yes, definitely. Yeah. There, I could probably think of 30 different uses that you could use this for with some simple modification. And our teams would love to help you if you need to customize or you need help in going the right direction with the template, but we hope you find the template useful and valuable for your company. Amazing. Okay. We'll send a follow-up email to everyone. So everyone has Shannon's contact information and link to download the template, sign up for the newsletter, and definitely highly recommend reaching out to Shannon, whether you're in a service-based business or many other businesses as Shannon presented in the beginning. SMB Consulting is really a top-tier consulting firm to help you implement whatever no-code solutions you're trying to implement. Thank we you, love Shannon. to help you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Bye, everyone. Me. Bye.